Hey everybody, Jay Barino here, and welcome back. We're continuing the true story of Arcane on Long Live the Queen. We made good progress last video, um, and my plan was to experiment just a little bit to understand the timings of the mutinies just a little bit better. My understanding, I may still be incorrect about this, but when the Red Guard rebels, which is on a timer, I think from that moment on, once you kill the two heroes in the right Golden Guard base, that's what causes that base to mutiny, I think. So in the original, there was a hero called Captain Ironside, something like that, and he would just be like, hey, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm with, Gu I'm, I'm with Guard on now, we're chill, and then he joins you. In this case, uh, Captain Pureheart and Captain Ironside uh, both have to be killed, and then... Herden, Fertile, and Tormund come in, and they basically take over that base, because it's called the Conscripted Battalion, so that we basically absorb them as opposed to them being taken over by the Golden Guard. So I think that's going to be something that will eventually become basically part of the, uh, the Coastal Battalion, because it's a Golden Guard uh, faction there. Uh, okay, with that in mind, what I've done is I've set up a new save here. Things have been going pretty well. I did take the leftmost base. I think it was a little later than my original attempt, so I'm still setting it up. But the Red Guard has just rebelled, but the timing of this seems it's such that the Red Guard will actually be able to kill those two uh, conscripted battalion heroes, which will then cause the second mutiny, and the timing should work out a little bit better so that the Red Guard doesn't get as wiped this time. We'll see. Again, there's a lot of things still going on here to make this work, but I think the timing of this should be just a little bit better for us. Send me in. Here we are. Still getting used to the no health bar thing, so please bear with me. I appreciate you bearing with me. Uh, I hate that. We gotta stun this guy. We have two stuns. Brian and Cora. There we go. He's stunned. And then let's go ahead and throw down some heals across the board. We can always hit ult to see how our health bars are doing here. Okay, so this is the act this is the Golden Guard guy who's gonna remain our enemy for pretty much the whole time. So see, these guys, like this group, can wipe out this base if we're not careful. Uh, I think what ended up happening originally is the Red Guard ended up getting distracted by attacking Rihanna instead. So anyway, point being, we're just going to chill over here until we're ready to move up and attack the base uh, with everything we've got. Get our, get our folks up here to kill these awful assassins. Okay, and let's try not to lose the banishers that we do have, and then we'll turn on... We'll turn on our uh, skelly boys once we get closer. So how's this? This is done, so let's get this fully saturated. Uh, undead are coming in to help as well. We'll move in with them momentarily. I don't know if Endless War is going to apply to our uh, our Knights of Calm. Okay, so I think they have to kill Captain Ironside, which will then cause that group to rebel. I would love to see them destroy this Pride of Humanity as well. Slowly, but surely. I'm basically waiting for that one... I'm basically waiting for that other group to rebel. Let's, um... I think we probably want to go ahead and attack now. How are my upgrades doing? They're fine, and we're oversupply, so we might as well. Yeah, sure, grab that too. I built a single Dragonhawk Rider, um, because there are towers here that if we can... Uh, cloud will be in much better shape. Let's see if we could do something like that. It's perfect. Make sure everybody goes. Again, casters we sort of keep in the back. And then make sure that we're using our banishers here. Knights of Comb, help me out. We're still... We're still clouding. Ironside's been dealt with. Okay, so there we go. There's the there's the second mutiny. And Red Guard has not been completely wiped. So now we save again. You guys have to turn on Ray's Dead, please. We timed this near perfectly. Like I said, I basically had this save set up so that we could make this work. Make sure Zed is out, please. Lorena's here. Use your ultimate. Uh, this guy's back. We need to stun him with something. Okay, we got him with Brian. That's good. Red Guard's coming in here next, which means I think we want to uh, avenge, please. 
Brian, use Dark Secrets and turn on your shadows. Knights of Calm once again. Just throw down some chain heals wherever. We're gonna get some more some more casters. Let's uh let's see if what we want to do is just get a bunch of workers up to the front here. Head on over here in flood. We have more red guard coming in as well. Remove all remaining loyalists of the Golden Guard and get this base ready and operational. Well done, Commander. It's time to bring an end to this. My order may lie in ruins, but the Red Guard will surpass it. Under my enlightened leadership, we will throw you traitors out of this realm. I think we saw this last time. I'm, trying, I'm just trying to heal some of the dudes that we have. All right, Core getting hit pretty hard here. So let's back her out. Uh, Lorene heal her if you can. She's still stuck. Get out of there. Okay. Yes, my buddies are here. And we are making a solid push here. Maybe I could have... What I could have done also is bring my... Uh, I could bring my... Uh, what am I thinking? Just forget it. Dark Steel Golems. <laughs> did my workers make it? They did. Perfect. Okay, we're just going to come on over here. We're going to set up a town hall. All right. And then just get some barracks and stuff set up over on this end. And if we can if we can keep this base set up, then we're in great shape. Brian Dark Secrets. Oh, he's got Black Cloud. This whole time he's had Black Cloud. Guard on Dark Secrets. Resummon Zed, because I assume Zed is still gone. God, these stupid assassins. I hate them. Let's focus down the, the structures, please. We're probably okay until their heroes spawn. I'm going to focus down structures while my allies cover me. Hopefully their, their hero won't spawn with enough energy. How's this going up here? Red Guard in trouble. Again, they've sort of done their duty up until this point. I can't I can only, you know, help them up to a certain amount and then it becomes a little untenable. Just throw down some heals. Row here Nexus in here as well. Seems like we're, we're what I want to do is basically get like a a DMZ here between the two um, between the conscripted battalion that is mutinied and uh and the, the remaining Golden Guard, so that we don't constantly draw their forces into us. Okay, get in there. Turn off Fairy Fire, you know the drill. My ally, my allied Iron Fist basically moved in and attacked at exactly the right time. I'd love to save that guy, but I don't think my Banisher's gonna be able to get in there. That's fine. I have Avenge up as well. When I have enough Frost Worms, my plan is to attack. It's this stuff um, that is a problem. Okay, Red Guard is up there. You know what? I'm going to save, and we're going to move up, and we're going to Avenge that attack again. Just like that. If she can get up there, we'll flood it as well. It honestly, I don't think gets much better than this in terms of the progress we've made. Okay, again, unfortunately, Red Guard might be in a bit of a a problem right here. I don't know what worker is queued up to build from there. Let's go ahead and build Knights of Calm again. We have to get up there and help Pink, though. If we can completely get rid of this yellow faction, or at least the majority of this yellow faction, we're in great shape. He has no mana, so he's fine. Or we're fine with him right now. We have to kill that, that Phoenix, man, at a certain point. We've just got to kill it. Okay, those those ladies are going to keep attacking from behind us if we're not if we're not actively avoiding them. I'm going to move up and flood. Yep, just like that. 
And we have to try and finish this base off without ag aggroing the rest of the uh, the Golden Guard, which is challenging. Or the, the Red Guard, excuse me. Okay, we're just trying to clear out as much of their production as possible. Yo, these shadows that Brian summons are, are no joke. Wait, wait, actually kill the... The egg. Okay, there... No! I thought we would have gotten it. Okay, that's going down here. Heroes, let's reconsolidate, please. Our forces are under attack. Again, the most important thing is I've gotten my, my DMZ, which is what I wanted. Okay, and we can kill this here. Okay, we're getting frostworms. The whole idea is we want to get more frostworms so that we can use them to kill the sun. I think this this color here, by the way, is like actual cyan. We're going to use that to, d to freeze those buildings and actually destroy them. That's the plan. We're in this base, and they don't have an altar anymore. So if we're very careful, we can steadily wipe out everything that's left. Okay, we're rallying to this part where they are um, able to... They have a way gate that just puts them right there. Ooh, Gardon. Sorry, buddy. I think it's just that... Let's go ahead and move up. If we can, if we can make this happen... I feel like I shouldn't use Avenge here, but I'm going to. If we can kill this castle... Oh, see, that's why I shouldn't have used Avenge, because they've got this group coming in right here. I'm basically diving in, trying to take this out. We get rid of the castle. Kill this egg, finally, please. Kill this worker. No, no, kill the worker. Kill the worker. This is what, I, what I'm what i doing here is crazy. Okay, now we leave. We flee, and we basically rely on our ally to defend us for a while while we get our hero back out. We make, make a bunch of new workers over here. We rebuild our altars as well. And then we build an air force to finally kill the Scion, the Scion base. And as long as Red Guard is attacking us down here, they're not attacking our allies, which is pretty solid. Very important stuff. Is this... This egg will never be killed, I think, at this rate. Uh, try and dive it now. I think it's too late. Just kill this thing. There we go. Uh, we are going to have to get up here and actually try and help Red Guard. Uh, at a certain point. Let's go ahead and build those. I mean, we don't have to help Redguard. I wanted to basically get in, get in here and do exactly what we've done, which is um, solidify uh, a, a forward look position here that we could use uh, versus our enemies. It's worked out fantastically. Okay, Altar of Emperor. Let's get Korra out first. She has Avenge, which is much better, in my opinion, than, you know, sorry, Gardon. Okay, I'm going to take my Catapults, and then some of these units, we're just going to move up here and just sort of chill by Red Guard. Again, they're mostly gone. But they have, they have some production structures. Again, my concern is they don't really build much uh, again. Okay, next step, we're also going to start building um, Valkyries. Previously known as Walkeries. I didn't make that decision. Oh, gosh. Okay, heroes back up. Okay, heal yourself, Lorene. Okay, Brian doesn't have an orb, does he? So he can't attack air? Or maybe he can. No, he doesn't have an orb. Well, I'm glad I brought these up here. 
No, that's fine. Okay, guard on his back. Yeah, sure, take this out. It doesn't hurt. Again, my next step is to take out that Cyan production. One more shot. There you go. Okay, now back up. We'll get you healed. Don't worry. Maybe we will. <laughs> okay, banish your time. And our forces are split. It's not great. I thought I even queued up more workers. Where have they gone? I have six idle work. Oh, they're over here. Oh, they. Fo I see. They followed my my stuff up here. So it seems like Red Guard will still make some occasional air units, which is fine with me. It seems like we don't have to worry about this. Golden Guard trying to put some pressure on Rohir down here. I'm not concerned about it. What ails you? Is someone in Okay, I'm gonna quick save because I feel like we're sort of in an equilibrium right now. This is appropriate. Heal my frostworms. I wish that we got these frostworms at a bit of a faster rate. Okay, banishers coming out. Heroes are back, just about. Who are we waiting on guard on, right? There he is. Turn off fairy fire. Always turn off fairy fire. So again, these ladies will just keep getting replaced forever and ever and ever. But what I'm probably going to do is wait for our allies to make another attack somewhere, and then we will uh, make an effort to start taking out Cyan with catapults and our flyers. I will make some towers up here to help. Uh, I am, you know, I am missing some gold income right here. Hey, if they're going to leave that stuff alive, that's fine. Uh, Mina's base up here. Again, it's not looking too hot, but it's alive. So let's get on down here with these catapults because we're going to use those. Casual uh, destructor. Go get them. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. And our, our three Iron Fist captains, they did help us here, but I am a little mad at them for killing Solana. There we go. There's our next Frostworm. You love to see it. And that I think the Frostworms count towards our supply, unfortunately. Row here moving out again, which is good. That means it's going to give me the opportunity. We basically have to get our catapults up to this ledge. We can take out some of the structures and then use our Frostworms and other air units to pick off the rest. Um, still have this building up here, so let's just make more Valkyries. Walkeries. Hello. Oh! These are the these are the troll camps. We want to send our heroes down there at some point. At some point. Okay, heroes, let's pivot you up here. This is why we needed um, we wanted some towers here, because Rihanna will kill our allies here if we don't get up here to help. She just keeps spawning these horrific creations over and over and over and over again. Yes, me lord. Yes, me lord. Off I go, then. So we can do something like this. Again, this is just to, over time, ensure that they're safe. Our heroes will come up and be able to take care of this, I think. Okay, Lorene, help me. No, no, no. Fight my... Fight my other ones, please. They have like a self bloodlust, which I hate. We should be fine. Okay, tower's finishing. Again, this base should in theory be completely gone. This base is rebuilding workers, so they are able to do something. We're leaving. Once yellow is gone, once this yellow is gone, they are rebuilding some stuff. Orb of fire. That sounds like a, a Brian item, if you ask me. Let's kind of let's head on over here. What ails you? And try and finish off yellow completely. What ails you? Just ignore these, please. And then at least start killing some of Cyan. Okay, we heal there. What? 
And Rihanna just attacked a uh, rebel uh, renegade people, so this space should be okay for now. I mean, I have towers here. I can probably just ignore these. Let's go. Let's move on up here. I have a good amount of these Valkyries, so we should be good to just dive in here. Oh, I thought these would do magic damage. They do not, but that's fine. I think our air force is enough to wipe all of this out. We freeze and we freeze. This is going to be a huge weight off of our backs once we clear out this whole area. It's going to take some time, but that's it's going to be delightful. Uh, and then yellow, we want to hug the very bottom here so that we can ensure that this base is actually fully gone. We don't want to get drawn into red. But I do have... Uh, I think I do have what I need to survive. We're going to dive in on here. Here, you taunt. Of course, they just finished that, that, that building. Here, destroy this again. Red guard is kind of here. You all keep it up. I don't think we need this Scroll of Town portal, I'll be honest with you. Where is Korra? We're going to avenge this. Ryan, take the orb because you need it. Okay, fantastic work, Korra. You did the Lord's work. Let's go ahead and flood you up here. Just, just flood. Right here is fine. Right here is fine. Okay. Okay, this base is actually gone, and I can take it if I want. I could try and snipe some of these towers up here. There, 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 and there. Then, this group needs to keep pushing. Guard on, use Dark Secrets. Let's get Zed back out. Yeah, get these, get these nestled cannon towers. They're frustrating me. There we go. And then we back out Gardon. Okay, this group is, is not looking too hot, but we're, again, we've done, I think, what we need, which is to clear out this leftmost base completely, and then Cyan going to be gone here soon, very shortly. Red Guard deciding to attack over here instead. That's, uh, that's a bit of a bummer. Let's see if maybe we just want to build some knights. And iron forged, and you know whatever, whatever we need, just to get some units up here to make sure that they don't die. What is it? Off I go then. Job done. Yes, Lord. Because they are gonna do their best to get through this. They don't have siege weaponry, but even still. I feel like the Red Guard mutiny exists mostly to just die, and that's that's okay. That is okay. My next step is to move my army up. Um, I wonder where their actual town hall is. Because moving up to the left might be better. Yo, defend yourself, dog. Excuse me? Zed? Did they mind control Zed? I, I refuse. Can I just resummon him and that one goes away? That is exactly what can happen here. Okay, we have some Knights of Comb going up there. Avenge is up again. You know what? Just do it. I think this is their defensive force, and I'll tell you something. If we can just build units to get up there to continue pushing this attack. That would be ideal, actually. Oh, they're clouding me. Don't cloud me, bro. The these guys, just ignore that stuff. You gotta get up here and actually help. <laughs> they did build some... Uh, They did build, um, some artillery. Frostworm, you love to see it get added to air group. We have a huge amount of supply right now. We actually have a very large amount of supply here that is not being used appropriately. Yo, back up, though. I mean, we are making progress into this base, so I guess I could continue this. See, that's the way gate. Focus down each tower. And then we'll go from there. Who's up here? Oh, Korra, don't. We want to actually, I think, move our units up in here. Ignore those. 
And we're going to keep gutting this. I think we need Iron Forged up here. Uh, I'm going to put Cora in the middle here and Flood again. It does good damage over time against buildings. And then we'll have Avenge up again as well. So just do that. Guard on Dark Secrets. The important part is we've we've disrupted their offensive forces on the other side of the map, and are their defensive forces now dead? Right. So again, un this is very unfortunate, but we can eventually assist them. I think this stuff is frozen, so they can no longer do anything. And a big part of Red's infrastructure is getting gutted right now. Next step. What is it? is let's come on over here and take this base because more gold never hurt nobody. Keep keep pushing, keep pushing, don't stop. I'm just I'm trying so hard to just steadily get back in the fight here. My heroes are on the other side of the map. I I think I have a town portal scroll on one of these heroes actually, right? I do. Gardon has one. I I'm going to TP over there and actually uh, just finish up helping Renegade Redguard after we destroy a few of these production structures here. Okay, let's go. Must target friendly town hall. They didn't kill it, did they? No, I was just clicking the wrong place. Oh, now they're alive. That's fine. We can keep mo we can keep our army over here now that we've taken care of the rightmost. I'm sorry, the leftmost area here. Most of their stuff is gone. I think their town hall is like right here. I guess we could pick up another town portal scroll. Yeah, become a keep, and let's go ahead and get uh, magic sentry. Doesn't that give us something else to know? It's just to detect. Okay, no more Agents of the Queen getting spawned to bother us. Once Red Guard is gone, I'm going to go ahead and come down here and grab the stuff from the crates. There's another one, I think, down here, too. Yeah, you can kind of see him through the fog, if my memory of the, uh, the map was correct, and it was. So we're just going to put our units up here and chill. I think Red... Yeah, Renegade Red Guard exists, but probably will not be sending any other attacks out, if I had to guess. None of their buildings appear to be making anything. They're not even rebuilding their workers to harvest gold. Uh, you know. Maybe this guy will once he's done repairing. I don't know. No, he's just going to idle. That's okay. Um, so the next step... I could rebuild even more production up here. That's very tempting. Um, I see Saphira slash Harantel Gazor slash Krom the Immortal moving out. Let's get some catapults. Our town is under siege. Well, okay, I guess that was expected, huh? Uh, okay, so now, Air, Air Force, come and join the fight. We're going to bring you up here, and a lot of these are going to die at this point. And I think that's kind of appropriate and expected, just because it's a huge amount of supply right now that has been used. Rihanna's attack wave just reset, which I love. So Golden Guard still sort of exists up here, it looks like. I'm not so sure. Ton of gold there. Decent amount of gold there. I mean, still, that's that's a ton. That still counts as a ton, I'd say. Okay. I await your command. On you. And Banishers. We turn off. Your Honor. Uh, we turn off fairy fire, and we hotkey you. Okay, this is good. They're gonna draw- I haven't seen the enemy red hero for a really long time. Maybe their altar was on the- on the left there, I'm not so sure. Uh, we might as well use this distraction to do something. I think the frost storms are gonna be really, really powerful here. Um, the Walkeries also are gonna be pretty good. Every time we kill one of these assassins, they cannot rebuild them. We want to stay towards the bottom, please. We want to stay towards the bottom, please. Do not, do not draw out pink. We have drawn out pink. It was an inevitability. There he is. He's on the other side, though. That's perfect. 
Okay, and I think these Chosen of Rihanna are, is all that that AI built. Okay, come on down here, please. Okay, those are all just allied stuff. And Lady Rihanna herself is down here. That's not good. Yeah, no, just don't. Just let just let them do what it, whatever it is they're doing, and we'll, you know, engage with that later. All right, Saphira's dead. Uh, I will kill Rihanna here, though. Is she immune to? Yeah, she's immune to magic. We just gotta, we just gotta slugfest it with her. Okay, I think she'll just get resummoned, and then those chosen come back constantly. So again, we basically we want to just avoid those and hug the bottom and continue trying to and just destroy this um, this town hall. Perfect. Perfect. Make sure we're healing these frost worms. We don't want to lose those. Another frost worm. You'll love to see it. I don't know where. It seems to spawn from not the boneyard. You know, that's fine, but uh, we do have Avenge up, too. As soon as that castle's down, go for the altar. I don't want that guy coming back. It just frees the altar, and he'll be, you know, he's gone forever. All right, keep pushing. Oh, never mind. He is attacking down here. Hey, kill this one guy. He's got, like, no HP. What are you doing? Yes! This is partially why I built my production in the middle of Brown, because I knew his defensive force would come and help me. Or he's just going to turn around like an asshole. Oh, the hero is the one that's casting the cloud. Well, I'd rather him do that than anything else. Okay, come on up. It's, it's, this mission's very chaotic, but I, I still love it. Okay, so all that's left is... Uh... Rihanna? Here, come and, come and pick up your, uh... Your thing. <laughs> Somehow I killed the phoenix. Oh no, it's because he's back there. Oh, okay. Bye. Well, once he's dead, he shouldn't come back either, so we can ambush him on his way back in. Pick this up. We can use it to TP our heroes back down to the bottom, I guess? Okay, again. Unless he has another altar somewhere, once we kill this guy here, he's gone. See, isn't this better without the health bars all on? Maybe for some of you. For the, for the backseaters, they want to see the health bars, but honestly, I feel like it's a little more enjoyable to watch. Okay. I actually... How am I oversupplied? Did I rescue something? Or it was probably a frost worm that, um, that Saphira gave me. See, that air group actually kept me alive quite well. Uh, yeah, Brown should be up. Oh my gosh. Brown should defend themselves. They... They rebuilt, they rebuilt stuff! Yes! Okay. And if we go ahead and we move our stuff to the outside of pink... We can use as much time as we want to go down with our heroes and, you know, cavort around and do whatever it is we want to do. So, hero group and Zed. Zed has been alive this whole time. Good job. I don't know what mind controlled him, but it may, uh, that upset me quite a bit. Okay, Gardon. Would it be better to run there and TP back? Let's run there and TP back. I have no idea what's going to be down here. And I don't know what's going to drop, and we don't have much inventory space, so I'm sending everybody. Probably not the best choice. Uh, this mission is pretty much as good as I remember. It's kind of hard to recapture the magic, you know? That's part of the reason why I won't shut the hell up about Lara. I think it's because I consider Lara to be, like, the character representation of player narrative choice, stretching all the way back to the first human book. Um, and that's, I think that's why, like, she's the one obscure character I always talk about, just because, again, she represents 
Is, I wonder if he's going to unbro at 410. She represents m me having complete control over the narrative. Not complete control, but having the ability to sway the narrative. Like, I was able to have Solana be queen, but Lorene still be part of our um, our alliance. In this case, the canonical version is you lose... Um, the canonical version is you, you lose that... that um, oh, it's just more of these jerks. You lose that little bit of narrative control, so then when I see, like, oh, Lara's just dead, Lara it was killed on the way back to her home planet, etc., etc., I was like, you know, I'm like, oh, well, that's too bad, because that's, you know, same with Solana, I could make Solana the queen, that was not the, that was never the canonical choice, but it was a choice that you could, um, sort of eke out if you played the first and second book missions. Um, who needs agility? Probably just Lorene. I think Lorene is going to be a hero with us for pretty much the rest of the human missions. And then we got another one down here. Wasn't there a third one, or is that maybe not? I think that might have been a little further south. We can't quite see it from here. Okay. Looks like our, our allies didn't really do too much there, but that's okay. Our These Valkyries do magic damage, so I'm just going to send them in here to start shooting stuff. I think, see how this this altar is building stuff? It's uh, it's like, um, Rihanna is alive. I'm pretty sure what it's actually building here is, uh, I think every single one of her buildings builds those things. Those, those sludge monsters. I think they spawn out of every single thing. Anyway, I don't mind losing these. They're good, but I don't I don't need them as much anymore. I would rather get some artillery and uh, casters. So more banishers. And then more artillery. Let's get some necromancers and then knights. And stop chasing into the base. Okay? Stop it. I don't know if we have what it takes to kill this pride. I don't think they can rebuild those, so that's good. I think we do have what it takes to kill this pride. Uh, what's going on down here? Destroy, destroy, break, 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 break. So it's just been tomes. We didn't miss any tomes. You'll love to see it. Tome of strength. That's just straight up guard on. Maybe Brian, but I think... I don't know if Brian hangs out with us. Uh, very much beyond this part of the game. I don't remember what Brian ends up doing after this. I don't remember him being a hero in, like, the final second human book missions. It looks like these horrific creations can attack air. Are they? No, maybe air is is the way to go. Another frost worm. Thanks, Safira. I can't build any other units right now. Is someone in course? I am your servant. Okay, don't let them out. We're not gonna... I'm not gonna let them take out the remains of my... Of my Red Guard friends. All right, this is good. We got to get rid of this. Yeah, we got to get rid of this static defense here. I see Rihanna just just shooting my frost worms, but you know what? I would rather get rid of these two cannon towers. Uh, okay, you guys run on up here. Okay, cool. Then we back up. We kept some frost worms alive. The frost worms, honestly, it's mostly to kill those cyan um, buildings that summon the the worms. The, the, no, we use the worms to kill the buildings that summon uh, the other stuff. Let's get some overseers as well for the health regen. What I don't know is if that endless war mechanic uh, applies to only certain Iron Fist units or every Iron Fist unit that's non-mechanical. It's like that, you know, it'd be nice if that applied to my Knights of Comb, but I get the impression it does not. I think only Rihanna's left. I'm basically just gonna, I'm just waiting for one of my allies to move in and attack just because I don't think I have the supply necessary to finish this. Though maybe I do, I don't know. Let's get some Blood Fangs. The only reason I think to make Blood Fangs is they do have the two upgrades that make them better and better, and they're one less supply than the Knights. The one thing I would say is if Lorene's, um, if Lorene's bone eye, the healing bone eye was available, I absolutely would have taken that. It gives her healing aura and it makes your banishers do more healing. I question why that was not available to me. But, you know, that's just the way it is. Heal me. 
and then heal, heal, uh, heal this one. It, the main thing I'm getting used to with lacking health bars is my heroes. Is really looking here for my hero health. I could also, you know, hit it, hit him with the alt every so often. Your honor. Okay, let's uh, has ended. let's go. Do we need to focus on a specific side? Probably the right. I, I see a lot of barracks know. over there. I, I don't think it's that important. I think the we just go. Dead await. This be I think we just want to go and go ahead and start summoning skellies. Casual Enchanted Ogre Magi. Uh, Core, we're going to move you up and do you want to flood or... There's really nothing to be using Avenge on right now. Let's just put her right here and flood like that. And you get m way more DPS out of the flood if you uh, are hitting stuff that's on the other side. We protected our... This is good. We protected our allied... Uh, Our allied artillery. You guys gotta move. You gotta move and give me some skellies. The skellies here, by the way, are huge, so they're quite good. Go for the buildings that appear to be actually making stuff. Freeze this, because that's probably Lady Rihanna coming back out. Freeze this. And freeze this. Frostworms really, really strong if you actually use them appropriately when you're attacking by to freeze specific buildings. And again, I think I'm pretty sure every single building makes those sludge monsters. Uh, did we ever read all the lore? Jay Barino's here from you. I gave you my solemn vow that we would never forget to read the lore again. Uh, conscripted battalion. Maybe we should have read this before because this would have given us some some hints. Who is this? Whose perspective is this by? I think it was Lorene. I think it was Lorene. The faction within the Golden Guard consists of only people of the kingdoms and imperial army that have been conscripted into the service of the Golden Guard. While this is very unusual for the Golden Guard, since they are quite proud of their soldiers being chosen because of their skill rather than forced to join, we assume that the reason why Vanduras has started doing this is to increase his strength with numbers. We don't know how well the Golden Guard treats these conscripts since we do not have any way to learn what happens within their ranks, but we assume that they have to endure strict training and harsh punishments. It is still a miracle to us as why Vanduras recruited them into his elitist army. He just, he's just beefing them up. But they're on our side now. Uh, you know, and previously, I, I think it was the end of the last mission, where or the end of the last video where I asked, where's the, the Royal Army and where's the coast battalion, Coastal Battalion? I still ask, where is the Coastal Battalion? And I imagine that this brown, this brown base would get absorbed into them eventually, right? Because Coastal Battalion is like the Golden Guard faction, and then this, this Iron Fist faction here was... I think they're training Iron... Not Iron Fist. I think they're training Golden Guard units because that's what the Conscripted Battalion was. Um, but I think that the Royal Army has not technically joined us in an alliance yet. So, like, Prince Tories isn't with us yet. Um, it's just that Vale and Loreen have been, like, tagging along with us. But they're not technically... Uh, in a military alliance yet with us. That's why we did. I think I think we had them as a as a controllable allied force way back in the the defend Torin capital mission though, right? Okay, and it would help if I actually uh, read the character one too. Okay, I told you, solemn vow. I forgot to read the character one. We're coming in post post commentary so that we can uh, we can read this too from Solana Woodhunter. From, from Lorene's perspective, I was surprised when Garden told me that Solana supported us. Of course I know how convincing he could be, but Solana betraying the Queen is something I never expected. We had our differences, but I knew her to be skilled and smart leader. Very loyal to our people, too. What surprised me even more is that she fell into a trap of the demon slaves. But Garden's investigation was thorough, so it must be the case. We will honor her by removing Renova from the throne and leading the elves to a better tomorrow. This is what Solana would have wanted anyway. <laughs> Uh, so Solana has a, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty sad tale here. Uh, Gardon even lying to Lorene, who he has a, a romantic liaison with. I, I don't, I don't remember anymore. But anyway, I think that hasn't officially happened yet. That's why I'm saying that. But as we get closer to the end again, what I like about what's going on with the Dominion and the Iron Fist here is, again, you see these factions just sort of coming together. Um into their own new and unique factions. Like, the Iron Fist started as one thing, but it's being transformed into something completely different, which I think is pretty flippin' cool. Okay, Rihanna is back again. Does she have another altar, or is she able to be rebuilt from any building? Because it sort of seems like she can be rebuilt from any building. Can't stress enough, I'm loving how, uh... I'm loving how... 
our Knights of Calm have an a, a usable ability that doesn't have the downside, because nobody used, uses charge. Or rather, if you did use charge, you learned very quickly that you should not be using charge. It's, it's not that good. I will say, very minor change is I do sort of wish... I do sort of wish that um, Korra still shows up when you destroy this base as opposed to starting with her. Though I guess I understand that starting with her makes the start a little clearer and a little easier because she has Avenge. You use that to destroy this base in the first place. But it was a really cool map event. Like, it's still cool when the Knights of Comb arrive, but I kind of liked it as well how she um, shows up with them. And, you know, it's like basically Gardon sent her to go and, and get them. And I think in the original, she shows up with the Knights of Comb and parts of the Coastal Battalion, too, which is part, well, another reason why I asked, like, where's the Coastal Battalion? So, again, it's just like that that feeling of the map is like all your all the factions that you've brought together into this goofy alliance show up on this map to help you uh, stop the Golden Guard from evacuating all the elves. Okay, here we go. Queen Renova, your reign over this realm is over. You're too incompetent to be left in charge. Lorene, the one you banished, is here to take your place. Lorene will never be able to take my place. She's an exile, a traitor, filth. You've wasted your time coming here, Gardon. Stop wasting my time. LOL. You're wrong, Renova. Our people have finally understood what I said many years ago. You would lead them to their doom. So you have joined so they have joined me instead. Your reign ends today, and you. For the good of our people, you must die. You've changed, Lorene. I can see it. Gardon's darkness has corrupted you. Now I understand that it was you who killed Solana after Gardon lured her into his trap. You're no better than him. I've done no such thing. It was the demon slaves. Solana, duty-bound as always, wanted to serve our people and got lured into a trap. But her memory lives on. Even she wanted me on the throne. And though she's no longer with us, her soldiers have seen the truth. Do you remember me, Renova? You betrayed me, remember? Me. You sent me on that expedition to die, and for what? For an artifact you wanted for your collection. Does that really count as betrayal, though? Safira, is that you? I heard the rumors, but I didn't believe it. You were behind this undead incursion. Yes, I am. Ever since my death, ever since I returned in this form, I felt an immense thirst for revenge. The orcs may have been the ones to kill me, but you sent me to it. Today I can finally satisfy my thirst. Go ahead, Undead. Kill her as you wanted to. I'm not going to put her in prison. As long as she lives, she challenges Lorene's rule, and we cannot risk her becoming a figurehead for any rebel groups. I couldn't agree more. Kill her, Safira. It's time for her fu to finally pay for what she has done. She's the only traitor here. Finally. I've waited far too long already. Rot in hell, Renova. Mira having second thoughts. A quick death. More than what she deserved. Unlike you, I'm not cruel. She deserved death, but that's it. Finally, we're done with this diversion. It's time to prepare our strike against Vandurus himself, and then finally bring the fight to the demons again. It's been far too long. Indeed. Queen Lorene, I suggest you gather your forces now. They will aid us well in upcoming battles. Of course. My forces will rally and join Gardon's armies as soon as possible. I will personally lead them. I also intend to increase the number of recruits sent to the Ironforged. The more of my people bolstering their ranks, the better. I agree. Yo, look at her new drip, though! As the new Queen of the Elves, I hereby declare all contracts between the Elven Kingdom and the Empire to no longer be valid. The Elven Kingdom will from now on fight side by side with King Gardon and his men, no matter the foe. Furthermore, I declare that the remaining soldiers who stood with the former Queen Renova shall be transferred to the Iron Fist to be trained by them and to see the error of their ways. Uh-oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Re-education? A sensible choice. Congratulations are in order, I believe. I'm sure you will make a fine Queen Lorene. Welcome home. Indeed. Welcome home, Queen Lorene. I have no doubts that you will serve your people well. I'm putting all elves that are to join the Iron Forge under your supervision, Commander Herden. Given his new given his new responsibilities, then I can no longer deal with him them himself. I have no doubts that you're up to this task. I will not disappoint you, my king. I have no doubt about that. 
You, Captain Tormund, and Sir Fertile have proven your loyalty and skill to me. Therefore, I also sanction further experimentation with the Iron Barks. Take all the knowledge from the druids that you can get your hands on and use it in whatever way you see fit. Thank you, my king. I will. While you focus on your studies and retraining the elves, Captain Tormund will be in charge of the defenses of the kingdom and the areas around it. You two will continue working together. I also want him to set up defenses to the eastern part of the forest. According to the undead, they were forced to leave it due to their inner struggle, and because the demonic corruption runs too deep to recolonize it. Whether that's true or not, I do not wish for us to be vulnerable from that direction. Well, I think that answers my question on if they were lying or not, by the way. Sir Ferdal, on the other hand, will accompany me. Given your report regarding Solana, I do not believe that it would be wise for him to stay. I will also not keep him around the undead either to avoid any complications. I have other plans for him. I must admit I am surprised, Mina. Well, I am honored, my queen. I must decline your offer. I accompanied her, yes, but unlike Solana, I am no diplomat. I don't think I should take her place, at least not yet. Not even as a general, Mina. Our people require skilled people such as yourself, unlike Renova. I will not pick my military and civilian leaders on base of their family of riches, but of their merit. You flatter me, my queen. This is no flattery, but honesty, Mina, and please call me Lorene. I may be the queen now, but you were Solana's second, and despite our differences, I respected her, and I'm very thankful for her support of me, though I'd prefer that she was still among us. Among us? <gasps> Tepid pause. All I ask is that you consider my offer, Mina, for the good of our people. I will, but I cannot make any promises. That's fine by me. Take all the time you need. That'll be all then. Go and get some rest. Later. Ooh! This shadow will make a fine addition to my collection. Welcome back, your majesty. You may be but a shadow of your former self, but I'm sure that you have much knowledge to share. Let's see what you know about the Emperor. In quotes. We did it! Long live the queen, another one in the books. Again, I understand, because this is basically a remake, or actually entirely a remake, um, it's kind of hard to recapture that magic of the mutinies happening, right? But it happens differently this time. There's a much there's a much longer setup for the, uh, the conscripted battalion switching. And then Mina, again, she's never been a hero that we can use, but she has been in a lot of cinematics. Uh, she has, she was there even during the Van Duris introduction. Uh, she was there with Solana. So, like, she's been there as a character. I think, as I mentioned, I have this obsession with Lara because, again, she as a character is representative of a lot of the narrative choices that we were able to make in the old first and second books. So it's kind of near and dear to my heart when, like, she flipped the Renegade Red Guard and then she was there um, in Betrayal, which is still the case, to be fair. But, it you know, it does make me think that maybe that character doesn't even need to exist anymore, if that makes any sense. Maybe it should have been Mina Trueshot the whole time. Maybe Mina Trueshot should have been the one controlling that 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 undead base and if you don't destroy it then you get her in betrayal but either way she's then present for the story moving forward um in any case that's that's neither here nor there and i don't need to dwell on it but just kind of explaining why i talked about like i you know solana's outcome here clearly there's a plan for it in the future she can go on her own unhinged uh, vengeance tour because that's been so great for everybody else that's been doing it um seems like we have four or five probably more uh, revenge subplots ongoing right now, right? Um, Bull Regiment wants revenge. Kanos wants revenge on Zeramak. Uh, Solana's gonna want revenge on Sir Ferdal and probably all three of those guys and maybe just Gardon in general. Uh, I, now I'm blanking, but there's more. <laughs> there's definitely more, I guarantee it. Um, anyway, when... Gardon brings up how the eastern forest, a pit, like the, the undead claim that they couldn't hold that area of the forest um, due to their civil strife. This 
obviously not true because Queen Kira has set up her own new nexus there with the undead elves. So um, that to me, it, it kind of answers my question from the end of the last video, which is I'm 99% certain now that uh, Eridon is still sort of in control of this whole diversion. I think we need to wait for the next uh, cutscene with either Rahandir or Eridon. I find it interesting that Rahandir showed up to spirit away the two children of the queen. Now, keep in mind, the queen, the queen's children are with the emperor, uh, which is strange because it, like, the emperor is on the other side of the ocean. So, at what point did they have sex and and conceive these children? Uh, that's a little unclear. I'm not sure if that's important or if that's something we should even bother questioning or if that maybe is meant to be a question that's left open right now. Because um, you notice Brian put the emperor in quotes, um, which is to imply something very important. Uh, I know what it is, and may I don't want to, I guess, outright spoil, but the fact that the clues are already being laid here makes it, I think, obvious that the emperor is not exactly who we think he is. He's not just, like, the dude, the emperor. Um, there's some strings being pulled there. Um... So that's kind of left open to interpretation. Um, really, just like what's going on with the undead is probably the most interesting thing to me right now. Because um, I have a general sense of it. They're clearly still lying. Uh, but, you know, to what extent Eridon is struggling with the orcs in particular. But I'm not sure if that would have been enough to cause Rahandir to just go off on his own thing. Because the only time we've seen him is he was helping us underground with Ornassian and the Khazar Nexus a little bit. He was there when... Gardon was captured with Sir Edoras. Edoras. How do you pronounce that name? The spelling is very strange. Um, and they were sent there by Eridon. I, I looked up the I looked up the interlude. Eridon sent them there to find the Mask of Illusions. So Eridon wanted the Scepter of Death, which we got for him, and he wanted the Mask of Illusions, which he now presumably has returned to him by um, by Rahandir and Sir Edoras. Um, at which point, supposedly, Rahandir is like, by the way, I'm doing my own thing now. See you later. And then this break-off force of the undead have joined Gardon. Though, I still sort of think... In fact, I'm very confident that that's still part of Eridon's plan. The question is, how, does Ra how is Rahandir actually fitting into it? And I hope we learn more of that soon. And that's something that the second undead book never covered. So that's, gonna, that's pretty much the brand new content uh, that I'm looking forward to learning more about. Okay, there was probably more stuff. Sometimes I wish I could pause the cinematics as they were happening so I could talk about them scene by scene, but it's just, it's a lot and it's hard to keep up with. Lovin' Lorene's new uh, model as well. The armor that she gets is pretty sick. All right, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.